Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vincent back again. We are searching for the Alabama white thing, and this time we have four new locations, and I'm going to mix in some of the old interviews, so hopefully everybody enjoys. And as always, like and subscribe. So when I was growing up, Granny used to always tell us stories about this little white thing that used to be in the woods all the time. I'd never seen it personally, but growing up, I used to hear stories about it in the early 90s and stuff. We stayed out the woods because of this thing. So we went up. One time, my brother, he was walking home from a basketball game, and he tells a story about this all the time. He sees something in the woods lurking at him, looking, and it looked like a red, a red dot, and then two of them pop out. He thought it was some type of big ass German Shepherd dog or something trying to chase him but it wasn't it was something big and it stood up on two feet about to attack him and he just took off running he ain't seen nothing else and we always just stayed away from the woods and after that granny always told us about the Alabama white thing and I know for a fact that it's out there somewhere I spoke with you earlier about the uh, Alabama white thing yeah so uh, you want to share with us uh, your story about what happened with this yeah for me and some of my friends we was out in the woods we've been hunting we had us a few beers and we seen this big white thing out there we wasn't sure what the hell it was and buddies thought we were just crazy or whatever but you know we have out there drinking i hadn't had that many though i was sure i fucking saw what what i thought was some big unexplainable thing so it ran off into the woods and they didn't think nothing of it but I had another buddy of mine, he said that he'd seen something one day. He was out hunting by himself, and he saw it by the road. He was up on a hill above the road, he said he turned his light on. It was dark, he'd seen something by the road. He said it crouched down, it stood up and looked straight at him. He said it looked like its eyes were like a foot apart. He said it took off the other way, and he ran out of the woods the other way. He said that people quit, kept calling him crazy and everything, quit telling people about it. But I'm pretty sure there, there, there's something out there that's unexplainable. All right, so you're willing to uh, take me out to the location where you personally saw it, correct? Yes. But you're not willing to stay out there with me? Oh, absolutely not. We've got two locations today. Um, a lot of uh, missing animal reports have been getting brought up here in... This will be Jefferson. Technically, this is St. Clair, but... Uh, it's the Jefferson St. Clair area our first little place that we're about to visit here is actually an old trailer park that apparently was uh, the residents were forced to move because the place was bought out and nothing ever moved in so now it's nothing but an overgrown lot and apparently suspicious activity has been happening out here so we're gonna walk through this one may seem a little different because uh, we've actually got roads in this location but as I mentioned this used to be a trailer park um, from reports that were given to me not only were animals apparently came up missing in this area which seems to be a very common thing here in this area but a naked man was apparently running through here cops chased them um, there are multiple roads out here so we are just going to go to uh, random spots apparently uh, let's try this way we may end up walking all the way around We do want to just look for anything. Um, we're going to hit two locations today. This one more reported about the suspicious activity with uh, animals coming up missing because there is an animal hospital actually in one of these directions. Beer cans. We always like to count the beer cans, if possible. 
you know this feels a little bit more safer than the normal uh, climbing up a mountain like I did uh, in the second one I believe let's see the road does continue that way this is a new road um, if I'm correct if I'm correct the thing directly in front of you there that is the new hotel that was apparently just built new construction in this area apparently has been happening I do not know any of the information about why the trailer park was apparently bought and then nothing happened with it no nothing was built here let's look more plots let's not go towards the main way we will walk this way now you're probably asking why am I in here for the Alabama white thing a woman reported that when she apparently let's see I can't remember which way it is if the hospital not the hospital the hotel is that way a server from Logan's restaurant was apparently cutting through here to go to a apartment complex I believe it's called Barrington Barrington yeah Bar Barrington something she was she cut through here apparently and she said in quote I'll say this in quote she's seen a large animal on its hind legs now uh, no she did not say what the color was but while we were here I thought it would just be a good idea to come and uh, look let's see we'll go down to, we'll go down this way now I'm not sure how many roads are actually inside this place it's actually really really quiet to tell you the truth A random big rock Uh, I mean, it's hard to say, honestly. Like, on this certain story, the only information given was, uh, she's seen the, she's seen a large animal on its hind legs, I guess in the woods. Let's see, another road down there. Let's keep, uh, we'll keep walking because eventually I will have to find my, my vehicle, right? For this collection of videos and tapes, we are obviously bringing up some of the older stories and all the interviews. This is more of a collection video, but we are throwing in uh, I think I'm gonna do four new stories I am not returning to Kohlberg Kohlberg was always looks like a perfectly a perfect uh, huh now it looks like some vehicles have driven in that little section right there. There is a it sounds looks like a main road right there. Shall we go down this uh, section here? Huh. I don't feel like getting uh 
it's overgrown i definitely don't know what would be back here in this section i definitely don't feel like getting uh covered in thorn bushes this time but hey i will take a free umbrella i'll open it up later um we've got a new location that we're going to go to today oh we were told it's a, it's actually behind a cemetery in uh leeds alabama not too far from this location a a man said that he was down there i guess there's a little stream down there or whatever he said he was down there just fishing and behind him he said it was a big gray shadow ran off into the woods but he said that he swore that there was a tail on it now i've never really heard a report about the alabama white thing having a tail but as always hey if someone brings up a story even if i think it's real or fake i will go ahead and you know give it a look for us i was planning on only making three of these videos but the fans have woden more so we're gonna do some more Michelob Ultra if we played a game of how many beer cans I found at all these locations that would be a game in itself you know it's the first time I've ever walked through here and it's I don't know, it's, I mean, besides the road, I mean, uh, the yeah, the, the road that's adjacent over there seems really quiet in here. I hope this is the right road back to the apartment. I had to park over there across from those apartments, which I would suggest is Berenin. Look. A backpack nothing in the backpack who did the backpack belong to did the Alabama white thing take another victim that we may not know about let's see I think this is the right way um, I don't know. I didn't even see, uh, really didn't even see a dog. Didn't see nothing in this location. Obviously seeing beer cans. I think there's another, no, that's a Red Bull. Uh, we're going to get back into the car. Obviously, if the Alabama white thing is out here, he don't want to be found. I've searched, I couldn't tell you how many different places and have came up with uh, zero proof so far but i will continue the search me and the boys we were out uh we were out hunting in the woods and we ran across something that they call the white thing i know what it is everybody else they don't believe me they 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 they, they tell me i'm just seeing shit. from what i understand it's uh it's around everybody sees it but nobody believes it I believe it. I seen it. I was there. We come out and talking to my buddy and he was acting he was acting all scary. He heard a noise and I looked behind him and I said, Hey! There's something behind you. And he turned around and it was gone. And I seen it, it was there. I know it was there tried telling somebody else about it and they just told me I need to check myself in the nearest loony bin you know they know the stories everybody knows the stories everybody's heard about it it was there I know it was and well we were out there I was I was trying to figure it out and we all talked about it and they still didn't believe me I tried giving every bit of evidence I could and they told me, oh, it's just Lake Purdy. Ain't nothing out here but a bunch of snakes and fish. No, it was out there. 
It's in Lake Pretty. If you ever go out there, you watch your ass. It's out there. I'm telling you. So, my husband was obsessed with the white thing while we lived in Talladega down by the Logan Martin River. I swear to God, that's all he ever talked about, that's all he ever wanted to go do, was go try to find the damn thing because he swears he saw it one day. That man, I'm glad he's gone because that's all he wanted to do. White thing this, white thing that. Let's go here, let's see if it's here. Look at this. It got so annoying. Wound up running our marriage, wound up running everything, every last penny spent on finding the stupid white thing. Swear, if I ever have to hear about it again, I am going to lose my ever-loving mind. But, he does have a point. He did see it. Just because I didn't doesn't mean it's not there. If you're into it, check it out. Logan Martin River, Talladega. Not sure the exact location because, well, I wasn't privileged to that information. We are actually coming up to the cemetery now. I gotta find this turn in. I, there's like no... It's a Shiloh Cemetery. I just seen the sign. Established 1820-something. I came in too quick. wasn't able to see the, uh, the actual thing. So there is the gates itself. Let's see. Shiloh Cemetery, 1820. They said go all the way to the end of this road and it would turn into a... Well, there's the creek right there on the, uh, the opposite side. That, that would, that's why we're here is apparently he was down there trying to fish and seen something let's see he said the road would go straight like that okay so I guess we will park right here and we're gonna go see what we can find we are down here by the creek and like I mentioned earlier the man said he's seen something large run off into the woods that had a tail, which that is like the first time I've ever really heard anybody say anything about a tail being on the Alabama white thing, if that is what it is. Now... There is a cemetery here. You can actually see some of the headstones right there. It's a nice little walkway here, nice little path. No seeable homes here on this side. I do hear a mower, but there was a house as we came in. Looking for fur or anything at all. Footsteps, paw prints. Hey, look. It's actually an old, some kind of old little, uh, what would you call that? A barn, possibly? Old barn out there. Fishermen usually do have stories about this. Look at that. Just some random flowers growing there. As I mentioned, we did have multiple other stories about fishermen in the past.
Um, so far, no beer cans actually. Seems really quiet here. Wait a minute. Is that, a, is that the first can? No, that's old. Miller. Old can. Actually coming up to like a little bit of a waterfall. Uh, there's actually a sign up here, which I probably won't be able to see what that is. A chair maybe this is a spot where he was uh, fishing at possibly it, it's actually deeper back there on that end oh no it is a little deep here More headstones there. It looks like it actually gets really deep into the woods right here. Hear a siren in the background. Let's see, there was a sign. Uh, oh, there's actually like a little bit of a contraption made right there. Where'd the sign go? Right here's actually a little little deep as well. Uh, I've lost track of the sign. There was a yellow sign dangling. Oh, it's over there, but it's turned the opposite way. I don't know what that is. You see that? I mean, there's no... There's not... Nothing to do with no trespassing here. There looks like there possibly was a gate possibly here at one time oh thorn bush again alabama thank you hey there's also a barn over there another barn with some writing on it you see that what is that You know that's where I actually hear I thought I was hearing footprints or footsteps I'm not kidding this this part right here actually got a little bit eerie uh I don't let's see spider web thank you gone I don't know what that could have been right there. That There's a sign on that side. There is a barn right there. Some kind of weird contraption. Now the, the grass is getting really tall here. Oh shoot. Almost fell.
I literally just seen somebody. It scared the living shit out of me. That's the sound I was hearing. I think it'd be best to slowly make our way back. Well, that right there is definitely not the Alabama white thing. There, there are people <laughs> on the other side. Maybe that, I mean, that's probably their property, so best not to ask questions and move on. The barn right there. I'm not even going to lie, that right there felt really eerie. Um, I thought the sound effects were coming more in that area, the footsteps but there was actually a man walking on the other side right behind that barn and he came out over there so after getting a little spooked here i'm gonna go ahead and uh cut this day and we have uh more tomorrow we're actually gonna go back to a old location where apparently a new story got brought up about a, actually about a dog so a lot of dog stories this time. Well, I was walking back to the car and I actually seen a little bit of a clearing in between the woods right behind me. It led to this like open field. This is actually up on the hill from the creek bed that I was just at. So I'm just gonna walk over here. Well, never mind. there's actually a no trespassing sign. Uh, so apparently, even though there is a opening here obviously someone put this opening here you can see the this this part of the land has been cleared apparently but you can see the rocks and the creek bed that way this is the top of the hill from where the water was at From up here you can actually see I don't know if that's the same barn or not I can't I can't really tell from up here I don't know I thought I was gonna be able to go back but there's a no trespassing sign so I'm gonna obey the law and not get in trouble today um, we'll be back tomorrow um, Alabama white thing the collection hopefully everybody enjoys this one as much as they did the other one uh, let me get a shot of the actual cemetery. Look at that. And there's a, uh, looks like an old church back there as well. So if you would go ahead and state your name for the documentary that we have here. Hi, my name's Junior, just like my daddy. So it's Junior Junior? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So you said that you uh, had a run-in here at, this is where you work at currently? Yes, sir. Yep, worked here. My dad worked here, and his dad worked here just last day before. I tell you what, man, four generation been this daggum storage unit. Yep, yeah, ain't seen nothing like it, man. Everything, everything been so calm. But over that daggum hillside over there, I saw this big daggum white creature thing. Made an awful noise like a rah, rah, rah. Like that gum jumping man smelt from three miles, I tell you what, man. Uh sight to see, man, but you never saw it before, I tell you what. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Hope I don't ever see nothing like it again. So is it so is it standing on like two feet? Uh well, you know, could you like describe the body feature of it? Uh it kind of looked my like my uncle Randy. Uh, yep, he had a real, real big belly, real skinny legs. I tell you what, uh, but like seven feet, man. I kind of like that big James feller from that Slap Mountain show. So big, so a really tall figure, white. Yep, right about smart too. You know what? Are we sure the Alabama white thing ain't big James? 
Well, I mean, I we, don't we know. hundred percent on that. <laughs> like well, that's why we're out here. We're trying to find out, you know, if this is reality or fiction. I mean, are we just on drugs? Well, I don't know about y'all. I'm just here to do y'all do your story. Perhaps. I'm on drugs. That damn thing, man, it was so damn big, man. It was creeping up over the trees over yonder. I'd be at least seven foot, seven foot six, man. It was over there yonder, over there screaming at me, man. It was trying to get one of them cars back there, man. We've been working on, man. He, he, he come out the woods, he's hopping along on the fence line over there. He, uh, ain't you gonna say, man, on the fence line? He gonna, he gonna come over there and he gonna jump at some bitch. He gonna jump it. Jump at some bitch. I seen him hop up in the hill right here. He went toward the power lines over there. I thought he was gonna get electrocuted. He, gonna, he, gonna, he ran across that yonder hill over there. You know them damn, they don't believe in that damn air Sasquatch, but I believe in that son of a bitch. He's real. He's a real piece of work. He tried to get me to chase him up over this damn hill right here, and I said, I ain't chasing your ass. I'm just standing down here where I'm at. He, he told him, come chase me. He, man, he got bit. Like, he's wide as snow. He's about seven foot tall, about a thousand pounds. He's a big son of a bitch. He, he stands up there pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, I have arrived here. I am back in Moody, Alabama, and directly behind me, right past these cones, is the same set of woods that I ventured into last time. Didn't find nothing, but I was given a, a suggestion to come over behind the football and soccer fields over here and enter the woods that way and apparently something was spotted through that section so i'm going to venture into the woods that are directly behind me um the last time i don't know if you can really see it or not directly behind me over here that is 411 all the way in the back i'm not sure if you can even see the uh, cars back there um before we head back there i want to show you uh, a little bit of the intro from the last time, like I mentioned, and uh, this little stone thing that's right up here. Moody was ravaged very hard during the tornadoes of 2011, and a memorial plaque sits here, almost adjacent from where I'm going to be entering the woods at. So yet again, here I am in another set of woods. Technically, I've been in these woods before, just on the uh, completely opposite side, which I did not spot anything the last time we were here. But through a suggestion, actually a comment that was left, I am back in here on the opposite side. There does actually look to be trails almost like little walk paths in here on this side maybe and of course we'll count the uh, beer if we spot any as uh, I mentioned on the last one I actually thought it was going to be my final one but many people suggested to do more so I'm doing another one Um, I've had positive feedback from the Alabama white thing. I actually tried to get it on the streaming service, Tubi. Um, I wouldn't say it fell through yet, but haven't heard a confirmation about it. It's really quiet out here. The woods themselves are not that thick. You've seen the, uh, pretty much the length when I showed you earlier on how far it is. Of course, if a kid wandered out here, he could probably get lost. 
I've been in enough woods and enough wooded situations that I'm pretty confident that I could probably walk this whole thing back and forward and I'd be fine. The Alabama white thing sightings occur throughout the year multiple times in oh I just walked through a big spider web slowly going downhill by the looks of it right there just taking a peaceful glance around That tree actually fell directly in between those two trees. Phew. Spider web. Oh man, spider webs like crazy. I don't know if you if this picks up this. Oh, almost fell in that hole. Okay, you know what? I have not spotted one, not a single beer can in this location. There has been some, ow, some trash. But other than that, ow, thorn bush, thorn bushes. At least that leaf right there is telling me that there's a spider web here. Oh, we've got multiple locations that we're going to go to. Oh, this is a big clearing here in this little area. No trees. Oh my lord, spider webs. Look, if I'm getting attacked by anything this time, it's gonna be a spider. Have not. Alabama white thing, people can believe it. People may not believe it. The stories come out every year. People have hugely this, whoa, ho, ho. now I know I'm talking about spiders, but you got to look at this spider that I just spotted. Now that is a huge spider. You see that thing? Wow, I'm heading back towards the fence. That's the beginning area. The good thing was that was a big yellow spider, so I seen it. This is our only our first location to spot out. I think we're gonna hit up four new ones. And as I did mention, we're going to throw in old footage as well, old interviews. Let's see. And try our best to not run into a spider like we just seen there. But like I said, people have responded greatly to these, and I definitely appreciate it. I've actually started to enjoy the outdoors a little bit around here. Got to know 
some locations here in Alabama a lot better. Uh, my opinion on the Alabama white thing is I personally haven't seen it, but I'm going to keep searching and keep researching until I find something or I can find plausible truth that it don't exist or, or that it does. Either way, I'm just going to keep at it as long as the fans vote it, keep commenting and suggestion locations, I'm just going to stay at it, I guess. Okay, got a little off trail here, I guess, because this is not where I want to be. I thought I was actually heading straight back, but apparently I have veered in the wrong direction. All right, well, I hate to say it, but I think I fucked up divorcing the ex-husband. You see, we went on a camping trip out at General Lee not too long ago in Cropwell, and I swear to God, I saw the fucking Alabama white thing this time. So, all that credibility that I said, well, he didn't have, he fucking has. And I can't believe I let it ruin our fucking marriage, but maybe I can work things out since I now know it's true. I mean, go check it out yourself. We were in our tents. We heard sounds. We saw shadows. We came out. Across the way, there was the fucking Alabama white thing. I don't know how else to explain it to you. But it was creepy as fuck, and he was definitely right. So, if y'all really want to check it out, General Lee, Cropwell, Alabama. I have arrived at the next location. This is the uh, same park that we visited last time with Rebecca. We're back here again with Rebecca, and you've got a new story for us? Yeah, um... I overheard some friends talking about over here by this park. Uh, they seen some kids run off toward the wood, the wooded area over here. And um, they were yelling something about a white thing. And I turned really quick and I was like, where? So you're going to lead us out here? Now this is actually right, this is the town right next to where you live, right? Yes. It's just up uh, the block a few miles. So, so you, like, you're relatively uh, familiar with this park? Yes. What about the woods here? <laughs> Not too fond of the wooded area around here. Um, like I said, I usually don't do the woods. But this is close by. And this is where one of the sightings supposedly been for this white thing. Uh, the park is right there. This is uh, Leeds, Alabama. If you remember the last time we were here, we went down the trail right here, and apparently, I'm, I'm, I always say apparently, a dog apparently, which from what I've been told, a lot of dogs in this area come up missing. Don't know if it's true or not, but apparently they do. A dog apparently ran down this way barking going crazy over something the woman said she heard a lot of rustling and the dog never came back her dog ran ran over this way never came back now if you remember last time uh we never actually crossed over to this part of the stream we we went all the way down so today i I'm going to attempt to jump through this area and actually make my way over there to the place where we uh, didn't go last time and just give it a re-review of course. So I'm going to try to do this without getting wet without falling in the water. There has been a lot of rain here lately. So the creek 
or whatever this little bed of water you would consider is up com compared to what it would normally be this rock is really slippery okay here we are we have made it over the other side really muddy um, if you remember the last time we were here we thought we seen a house spider webs I am not getting caught in these spider webs at this one the last time we were here we thought we seen a uh, house in the background somewhere I am all tangled up here Now you can tell this is a moshy, moshy area. Now it's not like we're extremely deep as well in the woods here. And if anything was walking out here, we would see footprints. Because I'm sure making prints as I'm walking. I'm just trying to find the best way to get over here without there's a baseball as always we will look for as many beer cans as we can this story of course did not have a uh, beer can in it The important thing is just to uh, not get lost in this little little area. There is a little bit of a clearing right there. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the best way over here. Uh spray stuff why would spray whoa another spider trying my oh my lord trying to find my best route here <laughs> Oh Lord, another wall of water that I'm not gonna, well, I guess I can attempt to jump right there. It's just like there's no way to get to that clearing. The clearing right there Oh no. No, that ain't gonna work. I'm gonna sink in mud in this location. We well, you know from what I've uh, gathered out here right now. Uh, so I'm sinking in mud out here. I haven't seen anything. I ain't even seen beer cans in this location, which is the anomaly that we always run into the other one. Uh, Spiders, of course, out here. Um, you know, the, the part of the creek runs right through there. There's water. I mean, there's water buildup everywhere out here. Like, Now to just get back to the uh, location. So the story with the dog disappearing. Um, dog could have just ran off, period. Okay, here we are again.
Got to find the proper place to go here. You know, I think this is where I jumped, but I remember it being extremely uh, slippery. And I do not want to fall in this water. Mossy. Okay. We're getting back. Let's see, I think, yeah, I think I went this way. I think. Oh. Okay. We are back. I'm just gonna go a little deeper here on this part of the trail just to see if I see anything. I've been looking in the, the dirt. There is multiple trails out here leading to who knows where. I'm trying to stay on one certain trail. As I mentioned, I don't know how far it goes back. We seen the, where I'm, well, yeah, we seen it, but I'm here now to where it clears at see it all the way through there this is where I passed over last time not much to see there so once again this one's more of a uh, simpler case of hey the dog ran off he heard something in the woods he didn't come back I don't even see, I don't see nothing on these trails out here. No, no footprints, no dog prints. Huh. So I guess the best thing for me to say is let's go to the next location. And as always, it's up to you to believe the stories, the endings, whatever happened may be real may not be real we don't know but for once i have not seen a beer can so that in itself is a plus i was giving my kids a bath one night and it wasn't too dark it was starting to go dark but you know late evening hours and um I seen something moving from the window, so I, you know, I looked down into it, and I seen something. It was tall and white, about six, seven foot tall, probably, and it had like a a figure of a cat or a feline. And so I screamed for my husband, that told him that there's something out there, and it was pretty big. And uh, he took off after it, so. Whoop, it's come to that time again for us all to say goodbye to each other. Um, the Alabama white thing, uh, I consider this one a collection. We got to see all the uh, interviews from the old films, plus we went to some new locations and had some new stories. And as always, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Um, never expected this one to be a far four-part movie the way it turned out to be. Uh, but the fan support has kept it uh, coming in for me, so... Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and uh, I don't know if there will be another one. If the fans want enough and we get new locations, then I'll do it. But until then, I'm actually back out here at Lake Purdy. I'm enjoying some of the scenery, and as always, thanks for watching.
Thank you.